Hello and welcome to Cumulative Interest Payment. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna talk about the Cumulative Interest Payment function. It calculates the cumulative interest of a loan at any given period. But stick around till exercise three, because I'll show you how to calculate the incredible savings from an early loan payoff. Let's head to the first exercise, exercise one. Let's say we have a loan with the following terms. The interest rate is 5% and that's stored in C5. The number of months is 360 and that's stored in C6. Basically, that's a 30-year loan. And the loan amount is 100,000, and that's stored in cell C7. The cumulative interest payment function helps us calculate the cumulative interest paid at any given period. Let's say we want to calculate it for month one. So we'll enter the value one into cell C10. Now it's time to write the formula. Equals, and we use the cumulative interest payment function. Now the first argument is the rate, and that's gonna be our annual interest rate divided by 12. The second argument is the number of periods, and that's the number of months stored in C6, comma. The third argument is the present value. That's just our loan amount here in C7, comma. Then is the start period. So we wanna calculate the cumulative interest between which two periods? Well, between one, and whatever value the user has typed into C10, comma, and then the type. This refers to the payment. Is it at the end of the period or the beginning of the period? Typically, this would be zero for the end of period, but you can change this as desired. Close the function and enter. And now we can see the cumulative interest is 416.67. That is saying that the cumulative interest paid between month one and in this case, month one, in other words, for the first payment, is 416.67. By default, this is expressed as a negative number because the loan amount was a positive number. These finance functions work on a cash flow basis where a loan is an inflow or positive number and the payment is an outflow or a negative number. We can easily flip the sign by throwing in a leading dash. Now it's easy to change the month. For example, if we wanted to see the cumulative interest paid between the start of the loan and the second month, we could change this to two. And now we see that's 832.83. For the first six months of the loan, we will have paid 2492.45, and you get the idea. And that's the basic usage of this function. Now that we're warmed up, let's head to the next exercise, exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna use this function to calculate the total interest of a loan. Once again, our rate is 5% stored in C5, the number of months is 360 stored in C6, and the loan amount is 100,000 stored in C7. Now let's calculate the total interest over the life of this loan. Equals, and we'll use the cumulative interest payment function, and once again, the rate is our annual rate divided by 12. The number of periods is the number of months in C6. The present value is the loan amount. The start period is one. And the end period is simply the number of months stored in C6, comma. And then we're gonna go with end of period. Close function and enter. And once again, this is expressed as a negative number. And once again, we're just gonna flip the sign to make it easier to read. We see that the total interest is 93,255.78. Wow, that's a lot of interest. Basically, we borrowed 100,000 and we pay back the 100,000 plus an additional 93,000 in interest. And let's say, for example, we use the 100,000 to buy a home. It means we're giving 100,000 to the seller plus an additional 93,000 to the bank over time. So we're paying twice as much for the home. So what if I don't really wanna pay that much interest? Is there a way to like save some interest even if I already have this loan? Yes, and we're gonna cover that in the next exercise, exercise three. Here, let's calculate the savings of an early loan payoff. We have the same basic loan terms, rate, months, and loan amount stored in the same cells. This time, we're gonna have an early pay month, and that's stored in C10. So let's say we borrowed this money to buy a home, and let's say like halfway into the 30-year loan term, like at year 15 or so, we have some extra cash. Let's calculate how much we could save in interest by paying this loan off early. First, let's calculate the interest assuming a full loan schedule. Once again, we'll use the cumulative interest payment function. The rate is our annual rate divided by 12. The number of periods is the number of months in C6. The present value is the loan amount in C7. The start period is one. The end period is the number of months stored in C6. And the type is zero, close function and enter. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and flip the sign with a leading dash. This means if we were to keep the loan for the full schedule, we'd pay 93,255.78 in interest. What if halfway through the loan term, we had some cash, we wanted to pay it off early? 
how much interest would we save? Well, let's calculate the interest as of the early pay month 180 equals dash cumulative interest payment. The rate is our annual rate divided by 12. The number of periods is C6. The present value is our loan amount. The start period is one and the end period is the value in C10. Comma, the type is zero, close function and enter. This is saying at month 180, we would have paid 64,511 in interest up to that point. That means if we had enough to pay off the remaining principal balance, we get out of paying the interest going forward. So the savings of course would be the difference of this minus this, enter. So that would save us 28,743 in interest. And once we have this schedule up, it's super easy to update any of these assumptions. For example, what if the rate was 6%? What if the loan amount was 250,000? And what if we paid it off in 10 years at month 120? Instead of paying 289,000 in interest, we'd pay 139, saving 150,000 in interest. So since these formulas are locked in, you can change any of these assumptions as desired. So that's how we can use the cumulative interest payment function to calculate the cumulative interest of a loan at any given period and also calculate the savings of an early loan payoff. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 